That's, that's what we do. Put it in perspective. The American Red Cross, Save the Children, World Vision, all great charities. Those are three-star charities. Our foundation is a four-star charity. So if you didn't even know anything about the ro about Rotary, you want to support a foundation like ours because of how well we manage the funds that we have and how we put them to work in our communities. We all know that already as Rotarians. Okay, so are you ready with your sound effects? I'm ready. Let's roll. Okay. <laughs> Rooster. <laughs> That's supposed to be glass shattering. We've already, we already have a rogue sound effects person. I had to set you up, right? I gotta, turn, I gotta turn this on too. Okay, that'll be better now. You'll hear it. Try, try it again. Oh, it didn't click in yet. Try it one more time. There, there you go. go. There, there you go. go. All right, so you can hear it. Okay. Number nine, top 10 reasons to give to the Rotary Foundation. District designated funds. How many charities that you know of are you able to give money and then have that money invested for three years? And after three years, half of that comes back to you under your control and then you decide how to put that money to work in your communities. That's the way our district designated funds work. Those are the dollars that come back to us through our contributions to the Rotary Fund, Rotary Foundation Annual Fund. So if you have a dollar after three years, half of that goes into the World Fund. That's the foundation's fund that, that they use to match global grants and to do other great projects around the world. The other half comes right back to District 6690. And we, we apply half of those dollars toward district, designate, district grants, which are local or international grants that your clubs and, and the other 58 clubs in our district take on, on an annual basis. And then the other half goes into the Global Grants Fund, and that's used to do, do bigger projects around the world that are undertaken by clubs in our district. So that's a really unusual feature of how our foundation works, and again, it speaks to the power of giving. You ready? Okay. Hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> Down to number eight. This is a pretty easy one, right? Our effort to eradicate polio as Rotarians is a hallmark of what we do, right? It's been what we've been about as a core focus for over 30 years now. Imagine you're in 1988. At that time, there are 350,000 new diagnoses of polio every year in 125 countries around the world. That's 40 new cases of polio every hour. That's, that's the task that Rotarians were facing when we took on this challenge. Here we are today. We're down to three countries, from 125 to just three countries that are endemic to polio. One of those, Nigeria, has been, has had not had a new case in over <coughs> three years, and so it is going to be taken off the list and we'll be able to declare the entire continent of Africa polio free. That's gonna happen any day now. The other two countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan, are some of the toughest areas to go into and to administer the, the polio vaccine. So it's, it's, the, it's the kind of tough sledding work that we need to do. The number is up a little bit over last year because we're going into new communities we haven't been in before. We're at about 100 cases so far this year, but we are committed as Rotarians to stay at this effort and to make sure that we're able to stand up proudly very soon and declare that we have eradicated this terrible disease. And I think that's something that we can all be really proud of. You ready? All right. Number seven, top ten reasons to give to the Rotary Foundation. This is Tom. <laughs> this is Tom, our assistant governor. Tom doesn't look very happy here. And I, I'm not I'm wondering why Tom is not is just not as happy as he could as he normally is. 
Well, I tell you, Tom loves for his clubs to get awards. And we have three district governor awards this year to recognize clubs giving to the Rotary Foundation. They are the highest per member giving to the foundation, including Polio Plus. So it doesn't matter how big or small your club is, it's highest per member. The highest percentage of club members using Rotary Direct, that's Rotary's recurring giving program that you sign up to make a recurring gift monthly, quarterly, annually, in the amount that you determine you want to give, and everything else happens automatically, so there's no more paperwork. Susan doesn't have to take your check anymore. Fill out the form, make sure you put your name and your member ID in correctly, mail it off, wait for the folks in Evanston to process the check and get it in. The Rotary Direct does it, autom does it automatically and reduces all that time and paperwork. So that's why we're promoting that. And the third one is the 125 Club. We're in the fourth year of the 125 Club. That recognizes a gift of at least $100 to the annual fund and at least $25 to Polio Plus. It's a great way to get into a culture of giving to the Rotary Foundation and you become a member of the 125 Club when you do that. What happens when you do all this, when you do this great stuff? Tom's happy. <laughs> Once again, Tom is happy. And we just, that we, we want Tom to be happy, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Okay. <laughs> it finally happened. I got the move. Number six, top ten reasons to give it to the Rotary Foundation. Well, you can't take it with you. I don't know if you remember this film and musical uh, from, a, from a number of years ago, but it is true. No matter how hard we try, we're all, we're all facing one final destination. You cannot take it with you. So you have an opportunity as a Rotarian to recognize Rotary by giving in your estate planning. And I've put some flyers on the table about the Rotary Bequest Society. That's a great way to recognize Rotary and, and to provide an ongoing revenue stream for the great work that the foundation does. It's, this, it's a simple thing. You amend or, or add a codicil to your will, and then you fill out the form on this brochure and mail it in, and you're a member of the Bequest Society if your uh, designation is at least $10,000. In, in doing that, you, get, uh, you become a member of the Bequest Society, and you get a pin to go along with that, and a crystal, by the way. So it's a great way to provide for the ongoing work that the foundation is going to continue to do for, for years and years to come. Okay. Whoa, that was a big one. Okay. Number five, top ten reasons to give to the Rotary Foundation. Peace. One of the six areas of focus of Rotary is peace and conflict resolution. It's really central to who we are as Rotarians around the world and reflects the broad reach that we have. And our district has become a peace builder district last year by making a $25,000 gift to the Rotary Foundation for the purpose of helping to fund our Rotary Peace Centers where every year 100 peace fellows around the world have an opportunity to go and study and then to bring peace initiatives back to their communities. Our, so our district did that last year. We're a peace builder district. Uh, district Governor Gary has indicated that we're going to do that this year. District Governor-elect Steve is going to do that for his year. And even our District Governor nominee, Mary Jane, is going to do it for her year, her year. So we're going to continue to work at this effort to promote peace and to do that by supporting uh, the becoming a peace builder district. So another great reason. Meow. Okay. Now to number four, top 10 reasons to give to the Rotary Foundation. Giving hope to the world for just $2 a week. Think about it. We all just threw $2 on the table um, for, for the happy dollars, and we, we spend $2 like nothing, right? T just $2 a week makes such a huge difference. It helps to bring clean drinking water to this little boy in Ghana, Africa or this little girl. It helps to provide health care services 
to immigrants fleeing war-torn countries and arriving in Germany, as we see in this picture. It goes to all of the great things that we do as Rotarians. By giving just $2 a week, added up, you've given a over $100 in a year, and now you're, you're part of every Rotarian every year. You're a sustaining member of the Rotary Foundation, and by giving $25 to Polio Plus, you also become a member of the 125 Club. So that's the impact that we can make with just small contributions to the Rotary Foundation. <laughs> okay, we're moving along. Down to number three, top 10 reasons to give to the Rotary Foundation. We have the best pins, do we not? I mean, look at my lapel. It's covered with pins. It's got holes all through it. We have the best pins, and we love to give out pins to recognize what we all do as Rotarians to support our foundation. So first of all, we have the Paul Harris Fellow, and Susan uh, acknowledged all of you who have become Paul Harris Fellows. 66 Rotarians in this club are Paul Harris Fellows, and 39 are multiple Paul Harris Fellows. That means they didn't stop at $1,000. They kept going. So they gave another $1,000 and became a Paul Harris Fellow plus one. Another $1,000 and became a Paul Harris Fellow plus two, etc. That's what we have the opportunity to do to, uh, to support the Rotary Foundation and, be, and great, get a great pin to go along with it. We have, uh, we have one Rotarian who is a Paul Harris Society member. Is Bonnie here? Is Bonnie here today? Yeah, she's here. Yeah. She had to leave? Okay. Well, I was gonna recognize Bonnie for her, um, for her support in, in becoming a Paul Harris Society member by pledging to give at least $1,000 a year to the Rotary Foundation. And when you do that, you get this little uh, chevron that you hang from your Paul Harris fellow pin to recognize that. It's a pledge that you make to the best of your ability to give to the Rotary Foundation in that amount. We don't take a second mortgage on your home. Uh, it's, it's about your ability to do that, but it's to indicate your support for the Rotary Foundation. The next thing you do, if you become, if you give it a $10,000 or more in a cumulative amount, you become a major donor. And we give you a pin for that. And we give you a crystal as well. I already talked about the Bequest Society. We have a pin for that. And we have a pin for the 125 Club that I've talked about. So you can get lots of pins by supporting the Rotary Foundation in various ways. By the way, the uh, 125 Club pin, it's a magnet. So you don't even put a hole in your lapel to do that. So that's a great thing. Last year, this club had 19 uh, 125 Club members, which is fabulous. And I think, you know, Kent has a great goal to shoot for to, to beat that this year and to keep uh, reinforcing that culture of giving and supporting the work that the Rotary Foundation does. I want to give you a number. 319,302 dollars. Let me say that again. 319,302 dollars. That's the total amount that Rotarians in this club have given to the Rotary Foundation since you were formed. And I just want to recognize that. Thank you. That is fabulous. So let's keep up the great work. The last thing we don't have a pin for, but Steve, you're gonna design a pin. You're gonna work on a pin for Rotary Direct. We'll have another pin. Okay. Absolutely. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> no. You can sign up for Rotary Direct using My Rotary, the online method, or you can fill out a form, and Susan will be happy to help you fill out the form and mail it in so that you can, uh, you can become a Rotary Direct Rotarian and have that automatic gift. Again, you decide how frequently and how much you wanna give. It's all up to you. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Only got one wolf out of it. Yeah. That was the yeah. That would be the issue there. Okay, down to number two, top ten reason to give to the Rotary Foundation: life-changing projects through local and, and international district grants. 
this club has really used district grants effectively to promote the dictionary program that you have. So you do a district grant every year, and what you do is you indicate for every dollar up to two thousand dollars that the club spends, our district is going to match that dollar for dollar. So that is that that multiplier effect allows you to purchase more dictionaries and to do more great work to support the schools. Um, I know that uh, in sixteen seventeen you had a children's author visit that you funded with a district grant as well. So those are all great ways that you're using the district designated funds to support the Rotary Foundation and, and, and well to support the work that you do through this through the money that the Rotary Foundation provides. Here's the other thing. It's not just what you get out as a club out of this. You're actually helping other clubs in our district undertake important projects in their communities. And here's here's just one example. Oh, this is the district uh, dictionaries. Here's the grant. This is Bill Boone, and I'm Rotary's past president. And we're here for the our bicycle giveaway. This is our main fundraiser. Raise money through a pancake breakfast and other auctions and silent auctions, and we've raised enough money to purchase 74 bikes this year, uh, all brand new bikes um, that will be given away in about 45 minutes. We've been doing this for over 11 years. Um, it started off uh, there's at a need. And I've heard numbers of over $40,000 of toys um, to almost 200 families, um, which is pretty amazing. And that's just one of several groups here in this county that are doing that. There's a big need. And so what they'll do is they'll have a raffle. Um, and they said, you know, they asked the people, do you, do you need a bicycle? Would you like to be in the raffle? And they said, sure. Hopefully everybody can get one. Not everybody does, but the first 74 will. We did this on our own for a long time and didn't even know it was available. Um, and I can't tell you it's been maybe, maybe four or five years we've been using the district grants, and that's been a big help because it's enabled us to get a lot more bicycles, uh, which is super. And, and so it's, it's worthwhile, and you know, is, a, is a really super big organization, and uh, it's amazing what it accomplishes. And so then you take here, we're a small local group, but we work with businesses and other people in our town, and then we add on top of that everything that Rotary does, and uh, the synergy, and that's pretty good, pretty amazing, and pretty, pretty neat watching the families um, select that. It's, it's, although it's, in a lot of cases, it's not always a joyous thing, um, because these are people in need. Still very worthwhile. So just another example of what we're able to do when we come together and support each other. Okay, ready? <laughs> we're down to the number the number one reason to give to the Rotary Foundation. Together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. That's Rotary's vision statement developed just a couple of years ago. And it really encapsulates for me what we do as Rotarians and what we're able to do through our foundation to do great life-changing work. And it's why I became a Rotarian.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.